And in the United Kingdom, Prime Minister Boris Johnson spent this day celebrating his di decisive election victory. He pledged to unite his country and move forward with the UK's exit from the European Union. Villa Marx is in London for us tonight. I am forming a new government. Boris Johnson and came to power day. inside Number Downing Street over the summer, promising that he would deliver Brexit by the end of October. When it looked like that wasn't possible, he forced through an election to win a new parliamentary majority. After five weeks of a very divisive campaign, he's ended up with a significant majority for his Conservative Party, the largest since the 1980s. His opponents, Labour, led by Jeremy Corbyn, saw their most disappointing result since the 1930s, and that allows Boris Johnson to move forward with his own divorce deal for the EU, looking forward to the end of January when the UK will now more very likely formally leave the European Union as part of that divorce arrangement. The next challenge for the Prime Minister, though, of course, is how he forms a trading relationship with the UK's largest trading partner, the European Union. He will face a huge amount of pressure to rush that through in terms of the negotiations to get approval from his own party and from other members of the parliament here in the UK. And the challenge is he's promised to do that by the end of next year, 2020. If he fails to do that, investors, businesses, voters concerned about the possibility that we'll still have a hard Brexit, the UK will leave the European Union at the end of next year if there is no trade deal and return to WTO terms, something that economists have said will be very damaging for the British economy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bill and Marks outside 10 Downing Street in London.